This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. As we continue to listen, learn, and grow, we are amplifying black voices and perspectives in an effort to start a new COVID-19 vaccine conversation. We're sharing stories intended to help us navigate this unprecedented time together and to co-create solutions in support of the black community. Hear these stories at WeConsiderWA.org. $20 million, $19 million, $6 million. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too-big-to-fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your home is going into foreclosure, and you feel like a financial wreck. You don't know where to turn for accurate information. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné. Let's talk about some legal options. If we work quickly, we can propose a plan to save your home, modify the loan, or in many cases, even eliminate your second mortgage. The consultation is free. I've helped hundreds of people just like you make informed decisions about whether to save their home or exit it on a reasonable, organized timeline. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. You got to check out this video on the BJ Minks page of KISW.com. This guy's on the TikToks, and uh, he's soon to be a dad. And uh, what is he doing while he's waiting in the hospital room for the uh, baby to be born while his partner's in labor? Well, he's doing what you're supposed to do. He's playing Xbox, of course. You got, I mean, you know. Oh, man. <laughs> I love this guy. He's my hero. Here's the moment where she asks him, hey, uh, what are you doing while he's playing the game? I might go into labor tonight and my boyfriend's doing this. Babe, why did you bring your Xbox? Babe, one game I promise. Just one game I promise. Oh my god. I mean, he's probably just trying to make her feel comfortable like it is at, at home. And that's yeah, probably exactly. what it is in the house. Just plays his video games while she's doing something else. Honey, I'm going to be as emotionally available as I always am. Well, <laughs> I mean, listen, you don't know how long they're going to be stuck in there, man. I was going to say, you, I mean, ours was like 14 hours. So yes. that makes sense. It was like 18, I think, hours for us. I wish I had an Xbox to play. Yeah. But I also yeah. was like, man, I was trying. I, that was in the back of my mind, like, Man, I got to make sure whatever I do is not going to be brought up and be used against me for the rest of my life. You know, <laughs> because I wanted to take a nap so bad. It was like all I wanted to do, and I think I did eventually, like uncontrollably, just fall asleep because you know me. It sound doesn't take much, oh, yeah. but I was trying everything in my power because I'm like, I do not want to like have to wake up to the sounds of her going into labor because I just was like, I probably won't be able to live that one down. Yeah. I, that's the you're right steve you don't want to do anything at all where everyone will go what were you thinking you're just you're you're supposed to be there with the ice chips ready to go and don't say anything right. to piss her off I don't mean, say anything here i am taking a nap while my wife or wife is like you know got an epidural and it didn't work so i had to do another one Oy, and it's just like hey, oh. <laughs> that would just be like the worst thing ever Oh man, and yeah. How could the see? It would have been so much better if you were like playing Xbox while every, all that stuff wasn't. Was <laughs> well, I asked if they could give me an epidural. <laughs> They're like, no. Yeah, kidding. really. I know you. Really, I, I know you mean. You're like, dude. I can't. I need. I need something. Come on. Well, there's even a part of me like, is it bad if I pull up the WWE Network and watch some wrestling? You know what oh, I mean? Like, this yeah. guy brought his Xbox with him. Yeah, he's a champ. He is a real champ. I like how he's just like, just one game. One like, game. I'm not going to go past that. That's just ridiculous. Right. But one game. Granted, the game is Red Dead Redemption, and it takes all day. <laughs> just and, one game, babe. And she's and then she's in bed, and she's just like, yeah, this is him. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, she's really a lot more calm than I would expect. I mean, you know, ready? she's like, all right, I'm going to put you I'm going to put you on TikTok. But still, she's more calm than I would expect. But more importantly, we just got a text that, is that Danny's voice? I want to hear what happened to his foot. Ha ha. Oh. He's back. Uh, I'm back. I broke he's my got, foot in two places. He's got crutches and everything, Woo! DJ. And, yeah, and I know. This is this is legit. Yeah, I was like, you need to get one of those wheelie knee things. I need. I do need to find. I told Vicky to because she's like the queen of finding that kind of stuff, like on Facebook Marketplace and stuff. I was like, if you find one, let me know. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, those things have got to be out there. Yeah. and people get them, and they probably only use them for 
I mean, who's after your he- foot heels? You're not going to just still wheel around on those things. Well, I mean, unless you have like fun at a skate park or something. But it's true. Yeah. No. And what happened? I the story is I'm old. That's that's and I shouldn't go to concerts anymore. I should Attaboy. be banned from every concert. Were ever. you drunk? I mean, uh, I, was, I was. Okay, intoxicated. the answer's yes. Okay, there we go. <laughs> and drunk Wait. is a strong word. Wait, I was. Were you drunk? No, I was intoxicated. Yeah. It's like I mean, me being like. Were you high? No, I was stoned. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> could you drive a car? That's really the question. Uh, would you be arrested? More importantly, yeah. could you walk on both of your feet, BJ? Yeah. 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 No, yeah. I had I, I had a few drinks, like maybe three drinks, and uh, the, I was at the show at the Showbox Soto, and it was uh, this band called Newfound Glory, and they were the headliners. There was like three songs left, and I was standing kind of towards the... I was standing at the very back, kind of where like the sound... Is. Oh, so my theory of you being in the pit is wrong. Yeah, I was not in the what pit. What the hell? BJ? Yeah, see, this oh, is what I'm this saying. This is even worse. Yeah, I. So of course, it's one of the songs where they're like, "Everyone, get up, jump! We want the whole place jumping up and down." So I moved forward. I didn't go to the pit, and I'm just jumping up and down. Uh huh. All of a sudden, there's a bottle under my my foot, like I oh, kicked under my foot. No. So when I came down, my my foot just landed awkwardly, and I yeah. felt something. And so instead of landing on straight on my foot, it like rolled. So I thought I rolled my ankle because I heard a pop and I was like, oh, no. And I was like, and then I couldn't stand anymore. And when you can hear a pop while a concert's going on, that's not a good sign. That's not a good sign. <laughs> oh, no. so then my I ankle like, hurts right now hearing this. Yeah. Oh. So I like walk to the side or like hobble to the side to this where the security guard's like, are you OK? And I'm like, I mean, OK, maybe. And so then my friend Gavin comes over and he's like, are you all right? And I was like, I don't know. Let me just lean up against here. Maybe I just like it got sore, sprained it. And then we're trying to the, the show ends. We call a lift and I walk out. And of course, the lift comes to the other side of the street. Mm-hmm. So I have to like cross the street and I'm like hopping on one foot. And I was like, because anytime I would put any kind of pressure on it. Oh, yeah. Like, I would immediately fall over. And so we, <laughs> this, this lift driver is like, crap, wow. I got a drunk guy coming. Yeah. yeah. yeah it just looks that way. Right. So Gavin gets me into the back of the lift and we get to my apartment. And by this time, it's, you know, it's late. It's like 12 o'clock. And I have like 47 stairs at my apartment, which was <sighs> not fun to get up to. And oh, then Gavin's damn. like, he should have picked you up like a, like a wedding thing. Dude, he really should have. I was. What I kind was of friend is he? Well, my favorite part, too, is he's like, I'll take care of you. He gets up, throws me an ice pack and is like, hey, I got to go. Oh, bye and i was like ha ah, i can't wow. get off the couch so for about 12 hours i was just crawling around on my hands and knees in my apartment because i couldn't put any pressure because right, your, your your girlfriend's not in town she's not in town so you're by yourself by I mean, this could not be worse yeah wow well hey, here's an ice pack buddy peace peace right <laughs> so then i tried everything Have a good day me be me 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 i tried everything i could to get to work yesterday uh-huh. and i was like oh it's probably just sore you know so i was like trying to put my shoe on i'd stand up fall over i oh would try gosh. to get and then it was like i'm not going to get down the stairs and the best part about this i was telling vicky is everyone is like can i send you food because it's probably going to be hard for you to yes fix. and i'm like well it'd be great if i could get to the bottom of my stairs to get the food because i have oh. one of those like indoor staircases where you need a key to get in and I can't leave. You can't buzz people person. in. No, no. So I have to walk down there and let them like open the door for them. And I was oh. like, I appreciate all of you, but I'm just gonna eat. I would just set up a can. couch right in front of the, in front of the lobby. If that there's no lobby. Oh damn it! Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh. A stool right in front of the door. No, well maybe. Oh. But yeah, so here I am. Uh, broken in two places and uh, Damn. hobbling everywhere. No surgery, though. No surgery, thank God. He so said you broke boot. it. You broke it in the perfect spots where you don't need surgery. And I was like, I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. I mean, I guess it's good. God dang, man, that's just that's tough. I mean, you know, a bottle rolling under you. The the odds of that, oh, slim. Yeah, yeah, and not oh, even man. in the pit. Like I would have been okay with it if I broke something in the pit. It's like that's a cooler story. But no, well, I was dude, just this standing. Is, what's today? When? Do you think within, by two days it'll be fully healed so you can jump oh, yeah. up and down during uh, F, uh, our Friday song? Oh, that's right. I shouldn't. You know what? I think I'm going to have to just hold the crutches up and go. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and bounce. Danny's I bouncing. Know. Danny's bouncing. Look, I mean, Danny, that's I the most important part, right, BJ? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not sure we can go on. I mean, uh, I feel like uh, we'll have to cancel the show until he's better. Oh, uh, so I said those knee scooters are awesome, but they're also the devil. Two days before I was able to graduate to crutches, I went to the handlebars of said scooter, landed all my weight on my extended arm, and tore my rotator cuff. Oh, there we go. LOL. Not really LOL.
That's, that's what I've noticed yeah. about the crutches even, too. They're just, I, I'm not used to crutches. So there's been many a times when I was even trying to open the studio to this morning, and I fell into the studio because mm-hmm. I was like, ah, <laughs> couldn't control myself. Well, now it's like, uh, you're already easy to hear coming. Now, like, you can't sneak up on anyone. Now you got the sound of the crutches and your wallet chain. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so that's so awesome. Don't well, and, uh, guys, you'll be able to graduate in. to a cane, though, Danny, soon. Oh, uh, hooray. Uh, how cool is that? I mean, you, you know? get like a cool like pimp type cane. That's true. Yeah. That's true. I mean, it is Halloween. Or get a walker like the old people with the uh, the tennis balls on the Ah, you're talking. <laughs> that would be amazing. I mean, oh, why not, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. This is perfect. You know, these are all great ideas. I am really excited to use the little, like, uh, motorized scooter at the grocery store. Yeah, you can actually use it without people thinking something's up. Yeah. I have a big old boot. They'll let me go. Oh, yeah. Look at you, buddy. You're set. <laughs> did, did you rent the boot? I don't know how that works. Or no, you no. I, 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 I'm, well, I'm sure I'm paying for oh, it. Oh, you have to pay for insurance. it, Steve. Oh, they, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. They That's going to be fun. They don't let you rent anything that you wear. I don't know. Like I said, oh. I've, never, I've never had to wear a boot. Yeah, well, that's because, you know what? You're not a klutz like us. I wouldn't go that far, but I just never worn a boot. <laughs> oh, dude, I mean, it's this is really wild because when I was Danny's age, I did the same thing, and I had to broadcast. Uh, but they, they, I, they actually set it up in my house, though. Uh, I, I don't know why we, I couldn't get to the station. I probably was lame. I probably, should, I probably could have crutched there if I wanted to, but I was like, I'm not going. And then they said, so they set up a remote broadcast system to my house so that I could do it. Same injury as Danny, though. Also, shout out wow, to your same age. It's really weird. Shout out to your son. Joey was oh, my yeah? stand-in girlfriend all day yesterday and carried me all around Seattle to all of my different appointments that I had. So what a good kid! Oh, he's such a good kid. I gave, him, I gave him love. Oh, I'm oh, so I sad. I hear that. Current wife uh, had her ankle broken in two places. The knee scooter is a lifesaver and a wallet destroyer. Two hundred and fifty bucks at Rite Aid. Ridiculously expensive. Keep your foot elevated, Danny from Eric and Yelm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, they really? cost two fifty those those little scooter oh, yeah, things. Those aren't cheap. Oh, even on uh, I'm looking at Facebook Marketplace to see how much they go for, and because people don't use them for too long, they want their money back. So they're oh, two hundred, sure. a hundred, one hundred seventy five. Cheapest one so far I found is seventy five bucks. Oh, well, I mean a hundred, hundred seventy five. It's still cheaper than two fifty. You yeah. could borrow Tatum's little like giraffe bicycle thing. Yes, I mean, there we go. Oh yeah, she'll she'll be okay with it. You can't mess with uh, her uh, Minnie Mouse uh, airplane though. Oh, oh wait a second. Fair. Now the, the come on that, that he needs the airplane. I mean, look, I'm, I'm nice enough to let him use a draft. That's going to be a tough right. conversation with Tatum as it is. <laughs> All right, sorry, Danny. I tried to negotiate. Looks Thank like you. you're going to have to get the... Uh, what are you? Mm-hmm. Well, while Danny is uh, rolling his ankle at concerts, there's well, a guy... At least he didn't cut his foot off like I thought they were going to have to. Hooray! Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, amputation was what we thought was going to happen, Danny. Yeah. 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 And we and I, and I really thought they were going to have to amputate your head, you uh-huh. know, and uh, but unfortunately, it's still there. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Hey, uh... I have a question for you, besides the fact why didn't they amputate Danny's foot. Um, why is a guy walking across the country wearing a bear suit? Well, Steve's going to tell you why. He's got the Migs report for you at 620 on The Rock. BJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock, 99.9 KISW. This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. As we continue to listen, learn, and grow, we are amplifying black voices and perspectives in an effort to start a new COVID-19 vaccine conversation. We're sharing stories intended to help us navigate this unprecedented time together and to co-create solutions in support of the black community. Hear these stories at WeConsiderWA.org. $20 million, $19 million, $6 million. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too-big-to-fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com. Wenatchee is gorgeous in the spring with its lush green rolling hills, abundant wildflowers everywhere, and the views of the Columbia River. The local food scene offers an abundant selection of authentic international cuisines featuring the unique farm fresh ingredients of the region. Wenatchee is also home to award-winning wines, handcrafted hard ciders, and a talented handful of local brewers producing fine craft beers. Visit Wenatchee, the heart of Washington State. New on Curiosity Stream. With superior armies comes superior weapons. How has innovation mechanized the battlefield? From bullets to battleships and everything in between, it's machinery of warfare. Plus, 
From the gross Ew. to the gourmet. Mm. See how that in-flight meal lands on your tray table. On secrets of your airline food. It's all on Curiosity Stream. Annual plans are twenty dollars, just a dollar sixty-seven a month. Visit CuriosityStream.com. Ninety-nine point nine KISW, the Rock of Seattle. Well informed on the issues of the day. Not this guy. Live from the KISW News Center in downtown Seattle, this is the Mix Report. Well, thanks, you guys, and thanks to Advance Hair Restoration for giving us the Mix Report. And today's a day to enjoy yourself not just one cheeseburger, but a double cheeseburger. It's oh, National yeah. Double Cheeseburger Day, which is the way to go. Yeah. If you're getting yeah. a Whopper, get the Double Whopper. If you're getting a Jumbo Jack, get the Double Jumbo Jack. Jumbo, right. Jumbo Jack. I'll do the Jumbo Jack or the Jumbo Jack. I'll take either one. It's a hamburger. And it's also National Thank You Day, so if you bring me a double cheeseburger, I will say thank you. Oh, yeah. This is perfect. And I saw on uh, DuckDuckGo that today's also uh, National Google.com Day. I thought that was kind of interesting. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it is National Google.com Day. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> All right. What also uh, is funny is there's a guy who decided to walk across the country wearing a bear suit. Not just like a... A cheesy bear suit, but a 78-pound bear suit. Wow. Why? He yeah. wanted to make an artistic statement. All right. But also raise some money for charity. So you can't really clown on the guy too much. A little bit, I think he deserves to be made. You know, we all deserve to be made fun of for doing silly things. This is definitely silly, but he's going to walk across, across the country for six different charities. His name is Jesse. He's also known as Bear Son. Oh, bear son. That's only when he's in the costume, of course. Ah, uh, okay. And us. Uh, oh, the costume's wow. amazing. The head, it's like, it looks like a, I don't know, kind of like a Funko Pop Yeah, mascot. Yeah, it's almost like a Hello Kitty bear. Yeah, that's a good call. And yeah, there he is wow. doing his thing. But here's Jesse, I'm sorry, bear son, talking about why he wanted to embark on this journey. Why don't I live as a real character and do these extreme things like we see in animations, cartoons, right? Even for people out here, they're like... I've never seen nothing like this, you know? You're walking down these lonely roads, and it's like, what did I just see? I saw a crazy guy with a giant yeah. bear costume on. That's what I just saw. It seems no! like he's got a spotter. You f*** off! Ah! <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what the spotter the says to him the entire time. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Imagine that you're the spotter. Like, okay, so he's having fun being bear boy down there, but I just have to walk with him. That's a that had to have been a tough sell. I mean, you have to be a pretty good friend, or you're paying that person a good amount of money, which I doubt he is because he's doing this for charity. So why would he put all his money towards a guy that just follows him? That's a good point. Like I can understand being the bear guy. There he is taking pictures with kids. I'll be honest. If I'm driving and I see someone like that, I'm gonna honk my horn and give him a thumbs up. Ah, oh, look at you. You're not going to be the guy yelling, get him. No! No! Yeah. From your you car. F- off! You're causing traffic! Ah! Ah! Yeah, that ah! might be you. Ah! Yeah. But then there's just that other guy. He's just hanging out with him. You know, yeah. I was thinking that his name, Bearson, that's like a good indie name for after so he could start a band. Maybe it's like his bandmate. Oh, man. Good PR for him. Yeah. Bearson. Album drops when we get to New York. <laughs> Bearson. All right, so we uh, now have to head over to Dallas. We're in uh, a Walmart in Dallas. There was a guy who robbed a bank. He left with a bag of money. He was he robbed it from the first convenience bank, and somebody caught it all on video. And, uh, and here's the audio. He actually took all the cash. He just robbed the whole. He just robbed. Yeah, the bank. No, I don't know. What? I actually got the video. Call me old old fashioned. But you have this device that you're using to film him robbing the bank. Wouldn't you use that device to call the cops? To let what are you, know? crazy? No, you got to put it on no. the Insta. Come on, I you got to throw on the TikTok. I mean, I know everyone wants to get those videos and get those likes. I'm all for that. But I don't know. It just feels like he didn't even bother calling the cops. No, nah, you don't need to call the cops here. I mean, I, I'm, I look, I threw it up on my Instagram. What else do you want from me? The yeah. cops have to go there and find out. Someone else probably called the cops for him. Yeah, sure. <laughs> all right, that's uh, in the world of football. Oh, yeah? What's you know happening? Aaron Rodgers, right? I know that guy. He had a tough game against the New Orleans Saints where his yeah, team yeah. lost 38-3. to And at one point he gave up a, a game, some would call a game-changing interception during the second half where everything just kind of fell apart after that. Now, a lot of times players will give excuses where you're like, whatever, or they're maybe going to blame somebody else. You're know, like, whatever. Dude, the, the blame belongs on you. But he was doing an interview with Pat McAfee 
And he gave actually a really good and a very reasonable excuse on why he gave up that interception. And the reason being, a double nut shot. I don't like to make a lot of excuses for interceptions. That one was entirely due to the double nut shot I took. (laughs) I still go back and watch it. I stepped up in the pocket. I was going to throw across my body to Devontae. And right before I'm throwing it, somebody on the right, you know, with the right kind of cross, double nut shot. That uh, that was was a painful one. I I do. uh, They got their money's worth on that one. A double nut shot? Now I I want to see the video. Yeah, I mean, dude, I, how, how you can't do much after that. That thing lingers for a while. Yeah, that's a, that is fantastic. That's a great excuse. I know, like when I play, like you know, drop in hockey and stuff, and I, they take like a slap shot and it catches the boy. Even with the cup, it catches the boys. Man, don't expect much out of me for like the next ten minutes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Here's, here's a guy getting double nut shotted. Of course, he's going to throw an interception. Oh, damn. Wow. Maybe the Mariners, that's their excuse for losing to the Red Sox yesterday. They got double nut shotted by It was them. a double nut shot, yeah. Ended up losing. I mean, they gave like five runs, I think, towards the end of the game. And yeah. Ended up losing eight to four. That yeah. was rough. Yeah, the bullpens are tough, man. You know, you're, you're, they, they had a great bullpen uh, earlier in the season, but it is tough over this course of the season to really oh. maintain a great bullpen, uh, especially if they get a little tired. Yeah. And the Reds, I mean, the Red Sox are a good offensive sure. team against bad pitching. I mean, if you make mistakes, they're going to take advantage of it. Well, they play now they're three games back from the wild card spot. Yeah. Uh, they need to win today. Come on, 1 p.m. today. Let's go, Mariners. Double, well, nut, Marco, n- double nut shot them. Yeah, Marco's on the mound, so, I mean, they have as good shot as any as anybody. Yeah. You know. Sounders, they won the League Cup uh, game yesterday against, what, Santos Laguna? Yeah. Is that right? Nice uh, it is. one nothing. Now they're off to the finals, uh, which is what, uh, next week in next, Vegas? Yeah, next Wednesday. Finals of what? What are we doing? The League Cup. Yeah. Oh, the League? Oh, okay. This uh, has nothing to do with the, M- the, the, the MLS Cup, no. right? No. Uh, okay, good. Here's my yeah. question, though. You win, the, yeah. you win a championship or you win, like, this thing, you're going to want to celebrate, and you're in Vegas. That means the next game they play, they're probably screwed. They're going to be hungover. That's probably true. Yeah, actually. get the high school kids again. <laughs> I would just chalk up whatever the game is after this game up to a loss. Yeah. I could be wrong. I mean, they're probably a little bit more disciplined than you and me. But if I'm winning anything and I'm in Vegas, all yeah, bets are off. Uh, yeah, you're right about that, buddy. Got a text. Hey, uh, Steve, looking all over online for a place to buy my authentic Kraken jersey. Can't find it anywhere. I look pretty far from the team store, so I want to order it online. If you have any idea where you can find it online. Yeah, today's the big day, everybody. Oh, right, Today, right, right. you can get yourself a Kraken jersey. A, I believe everything starts around 9 a.m., so you might want to check the websites sometime after 9 this morning to be able to, because they're going to put them up online. A lot of people are worried that you can only go to the stores, but if you do want to go to the store, might I recommend going to the brand new Ice Plex that they have uh, in Northgate because today is the big mega shopping event. It starts oh, at wow. 9 o'clock. If you're a member of like their fan club, the uh, the in the depth thing, uh, I think you can go even earlier at like 8 a.m. Uh, but at 9 a.m. and it's going to be happening every day through Sunday from 9 to 6 p.m. You'll be able to go there having a big display, all the jerseys, the players, customization, whatever you need. Also, there are other stores including uh, Chandler's Cove and uh, Bellevue. Uh, they will have jerseys as well, but you know it might be a little bit harder to get them there because it's a smaller store. Uh, is, but, it, is it where Northgate Mall used to kind of be? Is it a, in that area? It's around that area, yes. Okay, yeah. I haven't been there, but I know that it was built around that area. Yeah, I, I know they're doing a whole remodel of uh, Northgate. I don't know if they're calling it Northgate Station. I mean, they're going to be opening a light rail there soon. I mean, it's just... oh. I mean, I think it's just called Crackland. Yeah, Crackland sounds good to me. I mean, because it's going to be all like the three sheets of ice, the, the bars and the restaurants in there. And then, you know, of course, now you got the store, too. Big day today for us Kraken fans. Yeah. Yeah. Still torn if I'm going to. Yeah. It's like as we get closer to 9 o'clock, the impulses are starting. I'm starting to already like, I just got paid a few dollars for merchandise sale my last wrestling show. And, you know, PayPal is really cool. Yeah, so. I got some credit. If you order wow. it on the NHL shop or on Fanatics, I think it's free shipping. Oh, Steve, boy. We're get it. Let, let's just chalk it up. We're, we're both buying a jersey today at 9 a.m. So then it's. What team, what player do I want to get? I mean, I'm leaning towards uh, Grubauer, but I do like Alexiak. I don't know what to do, BJ. Are you going authentic or are you still going replica? Replica. Okay, you're saying that, I know. I'm positive boy. that. 
Oh, but this is the first jersey. Really? You're gonna you're not gonna have an authentic? It is authentic. First jersey? It's the authentic replica. All right. It's still Jeez. it's still sanctioned by the team. I don't need to get that authentic one. Peter, you want to buy me the authentic one? You buy me the authentic one. Yeah, you're a better man than me because I, I have could I have issues where I'm like, well, it's the first one, the first year. I gotta have the authentic jersey. That that's my brain. So at least you can keep yourself from that. Look, I'm, I make terrible financial decisions. But I also know when to kind of, you know, hey, this is a little too crazy. Yeah, you know, I think Todd Peach is going to give you a lot of credit for that next time we talk to oh, him. Oh, we're talking to him today. Oh, oh man. Gosh. Well, we have to find, then he should tell you what to do because maybe the authentic's the right move. This is the worst day to talk to Todd. Yeah, it is. Because yeah. he's going to tell me not to do it. Yeah, Make me feel guilty. Yeah. And then I got to, like, re-up my enthusiasm again after that. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's your, that's a good point. But, I mean, dude, the replicas are under 200. The authentics are over 200. What if Todd tells you it's a better financial move for perhaps maybe appreciation to go with the authentic? See, he I could mean, give you that answer. It is only forty dollars more. Yeah. Oh, see, forty dollars. You're gonna you're gonna sacrifice history for forty dollars. Also, I like how I'm not the influence today. Right? This is all BJ. It's this guy. He just wants me to be broke. <laughs> well, I got to take over for Danny. He rolled his ankle. He's not an a hole as much as he can be. You know, he's, you, he's, off, he's off his game. What are you doing, Danny? Are you going authentic? I'm going, going authentic, one hundred percent. Oh, he is. Doing it, yeah, Danny's going to fall. You can't have Danny. This is a keeping up with the Joneses, Steve. There's no way this is not. you can. You this cannot is not a competition. Oh, it is. I mean, people are going to go. Oh, hey, Danny, that is an awesome jersey, great sweater. Oh, hey, Steve, nice replica. Wow. Someone said the authentic will be real valuable. That's yeah. what I think. Is I is like at that point, it's like look <laughs> at like Steve thinks he makes good next, financial decisions. Next, don't regret yeah. that thirty years from now. Yeah, a forty dollar decision. <laughs> of for, you, here you are, yeah, thirty 60, years I've, from now, and Danny's getting forty thousand dollars for his jersey, and your forty dollar mistake, you're getting nothing. Uh, <laughs> I, mean, I do have that extra sixty dollars in my PayPal account. Right oh, now. here we go. That extra sixty will go a long way to a short game. I also halfway consider just driving to the store after we get off work this morning and just being like, "You're gonna wait in line forever with your bum leg." I know. That was yeah, the other yeah. I mean, thing really. It's like I, but I kind of want to go because I kind of want one for cracking Thursday tomorrow. I know. Oh, right. Yeah, you uh, got to go to the store. Well, BJ really cares about you. He'll do it for you. That's true, BJ. I think we know that I don't care about him though. So That's I fair. think that you know, <laughs> I think we've established that many times. Well, go crack it. Big day today. We finally can get our hands yeah. on a jersey. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> as far as weather, 63 degrees today. It's going to be a nice day to buy a Kraken jersey, and that's what's up. Yeah. Good day for afternoon baseball because it's a 1 o'clock game today yes. with the Mariners. Uh, yesterday, Steve, he did get this one wrong. Oh. What layer of the earth is right below the crust? Layer of the Water. No. Dirt. No. Uh, hell. No. Hell. <laughs> hell is for children. But not for correct answers. Uh, no, we were looking for mantle, sir. You want a shot at Beatty Steve? You got it. 206 421 Rock. We're playing Beat Migs. We'll do that at 649 on the Rock. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. What's the difference between filing for bankruptcy and credit counseling? Uh, credit counseling is a is a useful process in some circumstances, but it does show up on your credit. In fact, from a credit scoring standpoint, credit counseling shows up just like a bankruptcy, so it's going to affect your credit as negatively as filing bankruptcy. In credit counseling, the idea is, is that a credit counselor works with your creditors on your behalf to try to lower interest rates or work out payment plans with your creditors uh, to, to pay back your debt over time. Uh, in credit counseling, you almost always pay back 100% of the debt, sometimes at lower interest. And of course, some creditors will participate in that process and some won't. Um, so you're usually left with kind of a mixed uh, result with credit counseling and of course, a high payment. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. Thanks for listening. This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. As we continue to listen, learn, and grow, we are amplifying black voices and perspectives in an effort to start a new COVID-19 vaccine conversation. We're sharing stories intended to help us navigate this unprecedented time together and to co-create solutions in support of the black community. Hear these stories at WeConsiderWA.org. Wenatchee is gorgeous in the spring with its lush green rolling hills, abundant wildflowers everywhere, 
and the views of the Columbia River, the local food scene offers an abundant selection of authentic international cuisines featuring the unique farm fresh ingredients of the region. Wenatchee is also home to award-winning wines, handcrafted hard ciders, and a talented handful of local brewers producing fine craft beers. Visit Wenatchee, the heart of Washington State. $20 million, $19 million, $6 million. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too-big-to-fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com.